Attempting to communicate philosophical ideas in a new format has been quite educative. I've had to overcome terrible picture quality, caffeine jitter hands, nervous and galloping speech, screaming children, locusts, cows, chainsaws, bad lighting, bad jokes, and so on. Stylistically, there is so much to perfect as I go about building my educational platform. What can no longer wait is the true substance of my task. Starting this week, I will begin assembling detailed and nuanced lectures on whole books. The first text under consideration is Friedrich Schiller's On the Aesthetic Education of Man. It was chosen because it stuck in my crawl. Also, so little attention has been devoted to it. The book is more difficult than I remember. Don't let the thin width deceive you. I'm going to try and cover a chapter, or in this instance, a letter a day. I'll be operating off of the Reginald Snell translation. If you are bored and are looking for an online book club, perhaps this is for you. Here's the heartbreaker if you've grown accustomed to the usual fare of suburban book clubs. I'm pretty sure this text says nothing of vampires, perverted sex, hobbits, or children killing each other with flaming arrows. Schiller preoccupies himself with the question of whether or not art can morally improve man. For what it is worth, Schiller believes himself to be a respondent of Kantian aesthetics. Schiller is a strange dude. He is not a philosopher's philosopher. He wrote a great deal of literature, and many professional philosophers consider him to be a dilettante. We will test that thesis and see what useful ideas precipitate out of this exploration of aesthetic education. My name is Luke Johnson. If you would like to discuss this book or improve your writing, contact me at 703-727-2184 or philosophyluke at gmail.com. The money I raise from tutorials will go towards the construction of a new delivery mechanism for ideas that fits nicely beside traditional academic institutions and the digital academic platforms of the future. Thank you and have a wonderful day.